Check it out, KC-46. I'm not flying on it this time, but it's the first time uh, that I've been up close with one of these things. is coming online here. It's a phenomenal aircraft. If you talk to the pilots that are flying it on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it's, a, it's a pilot's dream to fly. And so people are, uh, are, are really enjoying the opportunity to go fly the aircraft. Um, I think uh, we're learning more as we bring the airplane into full, uh, um, yeah, full utilization uh, throughout the fleet every day uh, as we go out and do these things. And so, um, you know, we will take the opportunity to go through um, uh, to get to going through our first initial nuclear operational readiness inspection uh, with the, with the KC-46 here next year, uh, so we're training uh, to that, and then we're going to send a squadron out for a conventional deployment as well. So we're doing conventional deployments and readiness, nuclear operational readiness inspections. Um, it's just a great time to be part of the KC-46. So what I hear is it's not the the 46 or the 135. They're both going to be around. It's just. They're both going to be around. So. They're both going to be around. We're going to, the, the, the Republic needs both. Uh, we need uh, a lot of tankers. There's never going to be enough 46s to meet the demand right now. So the 135 is going to be around for a long time. Can you talk about your 45 hour flight? Sure. Oh, that's the yeah, yeah, I forgot it. about that. So have, yeah, so on the 1st of July uh, this year, we, uh, we uh, McConnell Air Force Base, and I uh, was an aircraft commander with, uh, with some other folks, went on a uh, Westbound circumnavigation of the globe. Okay. So the first nonstop westbound circumnavigation of, of, of the globe inside any aircraft, um, and it took us 44 hours and 55 minutes. Uh, so as we went around the whole globe, we took off and landed in Wichita. We went westbound. Uh, we had to refuel four different times to take fuel in on the board uh, in the air. Mm. Uh, so we took fuel on board four times from seven different tanker aircraft. Um, a lot of them that came from um, McConnell Air Force Base, some of them were that were from other uh, bases. So we had some guardsmen in Central Command uh, that helped us out uh, there from Salt Lake, excuse me, Salt Lake City. And then um, we had uh, also some uh, uh, U.S. Air Forces in Europe, air, uh, so you safety aircraft that were uh, from Mildenhall as well. But uh, seven different uh, air tankers, uh, 454,000 pounds worth of gas that we unloaded. Um, but we also were able to uh, do tanker work, right? So act as a tanker for a C-17 in Indo-PACOM, um, two uh, F-15Es in the United States Central Command. Strike, strike yeah, strike eagle. eagles. Yeah. On a combat sortie over Iraq. Uh, so we were able to get on the air tasking order of the day, work with the United States Central Command, B, uh, to get TACON to them so that we could uh, work on the ATO and refuel those uh, folks as they were conducting uh, combat operations. Um, and then went into USAFE, he came back, uh, refueled another KC-46 uh, aircraft that had Colonel Damon on it, who you talked to earlier, yep, yep. Uh, which was pretty amazing. Um, and the uh, headquarters AMC A3, um, General uh, Donahue, uh, and uh, they finally refueled three B-2 aircraft uh, for, as well. So uh, we proved that we could uh, take off uh, and go anywhere in the world uh, on a complex combat mission. Uh, to refuel any kind of aircraft, a cargo, uh, a tanker, fighter jet. a fighter, or a bomber, right? Yeah. So, um, and that's using max endurance operations, which was uh, one of the hallmarks of our previous Air, uh, uh, AMC commander, General Minahan, who wanted us to get after those, uh, those things, which allows uh, a max endurance operation will allow an air crew, uh, two air crews, right, uh, on one plane, and the KC-46's four aircraft to, to yeah. go back and forth, to, to move up to 40 hours, right? Okay. So we got pretty close to the maximum. Why didn't you go to 48? Why didn't we go? Uh, because uh, uh, we're trying to do the westbound circumnavigation as well. Okay. And there was a time associated with that, right? So, okay. Uh, but we did have a little bit extra time in Central Command, so we could have shaved a little bit of time off uh, from our flight. Uh, but I'll say that, uh, you know, being, getting the opportunity to prove that we could do the combat operations uh, was just as important as trying to set a record. Did, did the record, was it? Did the media, did you get a lot of media exposure for that, for doing the record, or? We did have some media exposure, so, so as we landed, uh, we had some folks uh, that, that met us, and uh, uh, we were on the local uh, news, which was uh, was, was fantastic to get the, all the airmen here, uh, some, uh, some uh, recognition for the great event that they just supported.
It was, it was a whole whole wing effort to, to get that done. Is that the longest you've ever been on a plane? Oh, yeah. That's the longest that anyone at AMC has been on a plane. You ever so, want to do that again? Uh, I would do it again <laughs> really? if they needed me to, sure. Uh, I, would, I tell you that, uh, you know, the plan that went into it, uh, yeah. we worked with the flight surgeons to make sure that we had a good work rest cycle plan. Mm -hmm. And so I felt pretty rusted when we were done. Oh. Um, you know, I was tired uh, but uh, uh, ready to be done, but uh, I could have, you know, rested a couple more days and, and done it again if we needed to. Could you have done it on the 135? Uh, no. So, be, <laughs> uh, well, because the 135 uh, just couldn't, um, there are a couple of planes that are designed to uh, take on take mm. gas, um, but we don't use that function. That's anymore. right. I forgot about that. I learned yeah. that earlier. And so because um, of that, that yeah, it just, it was just, you just couldn't do it. Now, the 135 can still operate for a long time. We would just need to land and gas up on the ground and then take off again uh, as it go, does those max endurance operations.